Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about circles, circles, circles. A circle is the set of all points in the plane that are the same distance away from a specific point called the center. A circle measures 360 degrees. Center of a circle is the fixed point. Circles are named using their centers. So if a circle is written this way, we call it circle A. Now if there's another letter indicated in the circle or in the center of the circle, let's say letter B, then this is named circle B. Chord. It's a line segment whose endpoints are on the circle. Notice that these two endpoints of this line segment are on the circle. So it's called a chord. Radius is the distance from the center of the circle to its outer rim. Now notice that the endpoints of this line segment called the radius is on the center of the circle and then the other end is on the circle or on the outer rim of the circle. Diameter is a chord that passes through the center of the circle. The length of a diameter is two times the length of a radius. Now if we're going to look at the definition, yung diameter is also a chord. Why? Because its endpoints, its endpoints are on the circle. The only difference is this diameter passes through the center of the circle. And meron ding sinabi dito, the length of a diameter is 2 times the length of the radius. So yung haba daw ng diameter natin ay dalawang beses ng radius. So for example, yung radius natin, yung from this point, to this point is, let's say, 20 centimeters. So, ang sukat ng ating radius ay 10 at 10. Okay? So, kalahat, pag hinati mo yung diameter, you'll get the length of the radius. Pag dinobli mo naman yung radius, you'll get the measure of your diameter. Diameter divides the circle into two semicircles. Semicircle is an arc measuring one half the circumference of a circle. So ito daw yung ginagawa ni diameter. It divides the circle into two semicircles. So ito yung unang semicircle at yung second semicircle natin ay ito. Now take note that the semicircle is an arc measuring one half the circumference of a circle. Now remember that yung isang buong circle measures 360 degrees. Sorry for the marker, uh, for the writing kasi hindi maganda yung mouse ni ma'am. So if this is 360 degrees, yung isang buong circle, the measure of a semicircle is equal to 180 degrees. So, kalahati ng 360 degrees is 180 degrees. 180 degrees itong isa, yung isang semicircle is also 180 degrees. Let's go to secant. A secant is a line that intersects a circle into two points. Now, ito yung line na nagsimula sa labas and then pass through the circle at exactly points. That's a secant line. Tangent. This is a line that intersects a circle in exactly one point. So if this is a line that's from the, uh, the outer part of the circle, pero at exactly one point, dito siya tinamaan niya yung circle. So it's a tangent line. The point where the tangent line touches the circle is called the point of tangency. 
So, itong point na to, kung saan tumama si circle, is what we call the point of tangency. The segment of a circle is the region bounded by a chord and the arc subtended by the chord. So, again, it's the region bounded by a chord and an arc. Yun yung segment. A sector is the part of the circle enclosed by two radii. So, radii is the plural form of radius and their intercepted arc. This is a sector. Let's go to angles. An inscribed angle is an angle formed by two chords in a circle which have a common endpoint. So, pag tinignan mo dito, this is a chord, this is a chord, tapos nag-form sila ng angle. And this is what we call an inscribed angle. So, sa madaling salita, it's an inscribed angle because its vertex is on the circle. And it's formed by two chords. So, pwede ring diameter at isang chord. This common endpoint forms the vertex of an inscribed angle. So, kung ito yung chord at ito rin yung isang chord, nag-form sila ng angle and this point is what we call the vertex. Yung common endpoint nila. The other two endpoints define what we call an intercepted arc on the circle. So, kung ito yung chord, at ito yung isang chord. Nandito yung kanyang vertex. Opposite that is what you call the intercepted arc. Okay. Importante siyang maintindihan kasi pag nasa theorems na tayo, kailangan kabisado nyo na yan. Mas madali nyo maintindihan. Okay. So, intercepted arc is opposite the angle or the vertex. Central angle is an angle formed by two rays. So, it can be formed by two radius. Whose vertex is on the center of the circle? So, yung kanyang vertex, yung point where nag-meet yung dalawang uh, radius, is what you call the vertex, ay nandoon sa center ng circle. vertex and then opposite that is your intercepted arc. So, itong part, itong arc na to is what you call the intercepted arc. So, opposite pa rin siya ng vertex. Okay. This time, let's go to minor arc. So, sabi dito, arc of a circle whose measure is less than that of a semicircle is a minor arc. So, remember that the measure of a semicircle is 180 degrees. So, kung mas maliit doon yung arc, it's called a minor arc. So, in this example, si arc AB is a minor arc kasi mas maliit siya sa kalahati ng circle. Or it's less than the measure of the semicircle. The major arc is an arc of a circle whose measure is greater than that of a semicircle. Now, looking at arc DAN, so pag tinignan natin arc DAN, it's greater than the semicircle. At alam natin ang semicircle measures 180 degrees. So pag lumagpas na siya, naging 181 degrees or more, it's a major arc. Okay, let's have a seat work. Or let's just call this a practice. Identify the name of the colored part. So, bibigyan ko kayo ng mga 3 seconds to answer the seat work or this activity. Number 1. Okay, the answer is center. Now, remember that circles are named by its center. So, kung 
Nakalagay dito ay A, for example. So, pangalan niyan ay circle A. Kung iba namang letter nakalagay dyan, let's say letter um, letter Y, for example. Then, pangalan ng circle natin is Y. So, ang answer natin in number 1 is center. Number 2. Okay, number 2 is a chord. Remember, chord siya kapag yung endpoints niya ay nandun sa circumference ng circle. Hindi siya dumaan sa center ni circle. So, it's a chord. Number 3. Number 3 is a radius. So, yung isang endpoint ng radius natin nasa center ni circle at yung isa naman nandun sa circumference. Radius. Number 4. Okay, number 4 is an example of a diameter. So, diameter siya because yung endpoint niya is on the circumference of the circle or is on the circle and it passes through the center of the circle. So, this one is a diameter. And last, number 5. Okay, number 5 is an example of an inscribed angle. So, remember na kapag inscribed angle, it's formed by chords. At yung kanyang vertex, kung saan nag-meet yung dalawang chords, ay nandoon sa circle, nasa circumference ng circle. So, this one is an inscribed angle. Okay, I hope you learned something today. Kung nahihirapan, pwedeng ulitin yung video. Pwede nyo ring i-download at i-save sa inyong mga smartphones. Kindly share, like, and subscribe kung gusto nyong ma-share to or maibahagi sa ibang tao. Thank you. Have a good day.